are you worried that you have Omicron or COVID? I am on day six now of having Omicron and I want to share with you my symptoms and what I've done to help get better. So the first night I got a really bad headache, the pressure was really intense and I thought I'd be okay after a good night's sleep. I went to sleep, I woke up in the early hours of the morning, absolutely shivering cold. My teeth were chattering really violently, they were slamming together. My whole body was shaking, I could not get warm, I couldn't even bear to get out of bed to get some extra layers because I was so cold. Um, and when I did manage to, and I turned the heating on, I woke up a few hours later and I was just dripping wet in sweat. And uh, I went through, it went through all of my bedding and I went through quite a few pairs of pyjamas. And uh, yeah, so this was the fever kicking in. Now the fever for me lasted, that was the worst of it, the overnight, but I was shivery for a, and hot and to shivery for a few days. Um, this kind of subsided, but I'm even still get it a little bit now on the sixth day, like maybe a bit of a shiver, but nothing, you know, compared to the fever. I struggled with eating. I felt very nauseous, really sickly and, um, found it very difficult to eat. The headaches have been bad for me, really strong headaches and um, a lot of pressure around my my ears, the back, the front of my head. And one thing I need to mention, the night before it started with the headache, I also got a really bad sore throat, but this subsided. I drank uh, hot water with lemon, grated ginger and honey and um, that took the sore throat away so that only happened to me on the first night so guys remember as well that the, the ginger works unbelievably amazingly for sore throats because it's it's um, antibacterial it's very 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 powerful so make a hot drink with um, I like to basically freeze the ginger so I've always got it grate it into a a, a cup with hot water with freshly squeezed lemon make sure you get unwaxed lemons they have no chemicals in the skins and a big um big spoonful of honey or agave syrup this this will work wonders for your sore throat okay so i want to tell you now what i ate and what i feel has just helped me recover really quick so with um fruits that are citrusy so oranges grapefruits lemons they all have a really high complex sort of vitamin c structure so these are really really good so when i couldn't eat anything i was feeling really sick the only thing i was craving was fresh grapefruit juice so not don't buy it from the supermarket in bottles this this is it full of added sugar and other crap buy fresh fruits so you can buy a big grapefruit cut it in half squeeze it on a lemon juicer if you've got one or stick a fork in it juice it all out and drink that down it's brilliant um so grapefruit juice is really hydrating as well because it's got a high water content it's high potassium magnesium is really good for you and vitamin c um obviously so are lemons and so are oranges and it's normal that you'd be craving those lemon water is another fantastic thing to drink um to really help your immune system and your body fight off disease especially the covid um red grapes are fantastic especially there's something in the skins of the red grapes um it's probably similar to dark chocolate it's the anti-flavonoids i'm guessing so chew the skins and this releases what's ever in in those that's really good for you with the um dark chocolate as well so as i was saying this is high in the flavonoids so this is from this is just from m s which is a, a uk supermarket so this is 85 percent cocoa so get a high one get a high percentage of cocoa adding things like milk um to any sort of cacao powder drink or cocoa actually reduces the um, efficiency don't don't add dairy 
so you want that as strong as you can um, you can take cacao powder if you have it um, mix it with water you could sprinkle it into a smoothie or however you want to take it um, it's high in magnesium that's why and calcium there's loads and zinc there's a lot of good things in the cacao and the dark chocolate and you know a lot of people know that zinc is very powerful at fighting covid um drinks wise green tea and nettle tea uh green tea's got something in it that is really good at fighting covid i think it's been quite well documented and i'm not quite sure what it is um but you can research that and nettle tea is fantastic nettle tea is very very cleansing nettle tea cleanses all the, the crap out of your system so i use a brand called clipper um you don't have to use that brand but it's nettle tea is not always as easy to find as green tea so you can search nettle tea the clipper brand and um I'm just trying to think what else I need to tell you. So I was, I was, um, as well as drinking lots of water, I was also eating things like chickpeas, um, because they're high in protein and they're quite filling, good for you. Salads, so give your body nutrients, try and stay off the junk food because it'll really help your body to recover. Um, I personally don't eat meat, so but I'm guessing that, you know, some people might probably like to do chicken soup and um, bone broth type things. I'm sure there's lots of good things in those. But I hope this helped you. And I want you to know, don't don't be frightened. It's normal to have these headaches um, that you literally, you'll feel all right one minute and then you'll, I don't know, you'll go for like a little walk around where you live and you will be so tired and you'll need to go to bed for two hours it's normal i did this the other day um i thought i was feeling better went for a walk around where i lived and then i had to go to sleep for two hours and then i was just shattered for the rest of the evening so allow your body to sleep because that's how it heals um don't be too hard on yourself and i hope these little tips have helped you um all right guys you will get better i promise try not to take too many painkillers because this can actually induce more headaches try and do everything naturally uh, listen to what your body's telling you what does your body crave what does it want because those are the things it probably really needs um and there's hidden minerals in in foods that your body understands a lot more than your mind does all right take care